tonight, some families across Tennessee will go to bed with their minds in other places, places like Democratic Republic of the Congo. Parents trying to bring their adopted children home are hitting a brick wall, but may soon get the help they've all been waiting for. New at 10, News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi is here tonight. And Adam, you spoke with one Nashville family waiting to bring their two kids home, right? Yeah, twins, mm. Shannon, a brother and a sister who only know their adoptive family through pictures, Skype, and the clothes that they send. But they won't be able to come here until they can get U.S. visas and letters allowing them to leave. I've known since I was a child that I wanted to adopt. Their home could be anyone's. A little doll for Cora. <laughs> Except the unworn clothes, unopened presents. Christmas ornaments. And birthday cards that are all waiting. How about we get a puzzle, love? On two missing pieces of the Sokolowski family. Right here. Good job. Two years yeah. ago, Jim and Marianne began adopting Cora and her twin brother, Tris, from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Everything was fine until they got an email last fall on their fifth anniversary. It said that uh, they'd be no longer issuing exit letters, which meant the kids couldn't come out of the country. Um, and uh, so we remember the date very well. The Congolese government stopped nearly all adopted children from leaving to control abuse and human trafficking. Mm -hmm. The couple has legally adopted the twins oh. but can't bring them home until the country passes new adoption laws. We can't think in terms of if they come home. We t think in terms of when they come home. This is your brother James. Can you say, can you say hi James? They've only been able to communicate by Skype and find out how their children are growing Do they need anything? and using what they send. It's a whole different way of parenting to try and figure out what size shoe your child wears through a translator. Their three-year-old James even keeps these treasure chests for when his sister and brother finally come home. What's the castle? Um, it says, oh, it died. <laughs> because until that happens, their family Two pieces left. won't be complete. Did you get them? Good job. Give me five. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. And the family is just one of at least 23 here in Tennessee stuck in limbo tonight with many more in other states.